Good morning, everyone. The former Mizzou All-American receiver Jeremy Macklin has a little more free time this summer than usual. But when the NFL locks you out, what are you going to do? Well, the Philadelphia Eagles receiver is spending part of his summer working with kids. July 18th through the 20th, J. Mack will have a youth football camp in Kirkwood. But that's just part of how Macklin is giving back to the community. He's part of a program using autograph memorabilia to raise money for Joplin. Macklin's spending a lot of time wondering when the lockout will end and players will get a chance to play. It's, it's, getting, it's, getting, it's getting a gut check time. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not in you know, panic mode yet, but uh, you know, I am kind of uh, antsy to get back out there playing football you know, with my teammates and with my, you know, the rest of the guys. To, to even think about, uh, you know, America without football in 2011, you know, it's just crazy, you know. Touchdown. The St. Louis Cardinals making a roster move today. They optioned Matt Carpenter to the minors and activated Kyle McClellan from the 15-day DL. McClellan got the start last night in Washington. St. Louis hitting coach Mark McGuire looking for offense from his team, but it would be the other way around. Bottom second, Michael Morse hits a solo homer off of Kyle McClellan to give Washington the early leaps. Then, bottom fourth, Roger Bernardina. He'll double down the left field line, and that's going to score Ivan Rodriguez. It's 5 0 now, Nationals. Bottom seventh, Michael Moore says, I liked it so much. How about another? 8 0 now, Nationals on Morse's second home run of the night. And the next batter is Danny Espinoza, and he joins in. Back to back homers for the Nationals, and they will go on to win it 10 to nothing. Royals starter, starting late against the A's in Oakland. That's Josh Outman, appropriate name for a pitcher. Top five in a scoreless game. Matt Trenner hits this one deep to left, but Josh Willingham makes the nice catch at the wall as he tracks it down. Let's look at that one again as he will rob Trenner with a hit at the wall. Beautiful catch. Bottom six now, still scoreless until Cliff Pennington hits a single to center. Driving in the first run of the game, A's up now, 1-0. Bottom seventh, Derek Barton. He'll hit a single to center, and that will score Ryan Sweeney from second, 2 to nothing. Athletics. And they would hold off the Royals to win by the final score of two to one. The Cards and Royals will team up this weekend. The teams have dedicated their upcoming weekend series at Bush Stadium to raising money for Joplin. Mizzou will play a basketball game at Southern, Missouri Southern in Joplin on Sunday, October 30th. Robert Korn coaches the Missouri Southern Lions and he's thankful for the opportunity to host the Tigers. We're very appreciative of the NCAA for granting uh, the University of Missouri to do this. So, you know, it was one of those things that step by step, everything just fell into place. And we're just very appreciative to uh, Coach Haith for his very nice gesture and for the University of Missouri, uh, the way they've reached out their arms to uh, Missouri Southern and, and the Joplin community. Speaking of helping others, the Sedalia Bombers are doing their part. The Bombers are a Mink League summer baseball team. The club used Tuesday night's game to raise money for Donovan Kronk. The eight-year-old has leukemia and is currently undergoing radiation treatments. Tuesday night, the team raised more than $2,000 for the Kronk family. Well, Donovan's definitely an inspiration to our team. I mean, he, he, uh, he's putting on a good fight. Uh, he's battling leukemia and he's got a, a big heart. And, uh, you know, he has a lot of uh, good days where he's just a happy-go-lucky kid. And uh, it means a lot to us, I mean, for, for the chance for our guys to, to be able to go see him and just see how fortunate we are and the lives that we live and, and to be able to uh, take uh, our gifts and, and give back to, to somebody in our community. In case you missed it, Game 7 of the Stanley Cup Finals, Boston against Vancouver. And the Bruins bringing some of that offense from home. And they are going to score first off Roberto Luongo. And that is Patrick Bergeron who gives them the lead. And that's one goal, and that's enough for Tim Thomas, who was brilliant once again against the Canucks as he dives on this puck for the save. He won the Conn Smythe Trophy for playoffs MVP. And Boston is going to win this 4 to nothing, their first Stanley Cup since 1972.